Hi, I'm Chet Sharma, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. This dish explores Indian food through a very, very different lens, and it champions the use of the sigiri, the charcoal grill behind me. This sigiri in particular has these wheels, so even when we cook our chicken, you know, we want to get really good colour on it. So we start it really low down, and then we will move it up and, and move the, the layers up and down as well. So Shamraji is not me, it's my grandfather. You know, we named the restaurant Bibi after my grandmother, so we had to give my grandfather something. So this is as close as we get to a signature dish in this restaurant. It's been on, I think, pretty much since day one, and I don't really see a scenario where it's not going to be on the menu. So I'm Chet Sharma, uh, and we're here at BB Restaurant, and we're going to be cooking Sharmaji's Lahori chicken with cashew and yogurt whey. So we use a natural set of relatively low-fat yogurt, um, but with the requisite uh, acidity that helps, one, cut through all the richness of the dish, but um, also helps to break down the meat and tenderize the meat, which is the point of using yogurt in marinades in the first place. So this is our, our hung yogurt. You can see quite thick at this point. So this was hung in muslin overnight. But what we're really after with this dish is this. So this is the draining liquid um, that sits at the bottom of the pan when you, when you hang the yogurt. So I'm just gonna tip it into a, a pan here. You know, when you think of like yogurty brightness, that, that's, that's what we've got here. And then I'm gonna add in whipping cream. It's quite important to use whipping, not double. Um, so whipping cream has a slightly lower fat percentage than double cream, um, but it, you can still boil it and reduce it. Uh, as you would with double cream. And into that, I'm gonna have some ginger, which has been washed, but not peeled. And then I've just got some cardamom, which I've bashed up. And I'm gonna drop that onto our plancher to heat. So we use the radiant heat left over from the charcoal to keep this cast iron plate hot. So I'm gonna leave that to one side while I get on with the rest of the dish. And the next part of this dish is gonna be making the, um, the marinade. So I'm gonna take some chicken breasts. So we use breasts for this. So these are, around 125 grams. And as you can see from side profile, quite thin. I'm gonna take some ginger and garlic paste. So this is 70% ginger, 30% garlic, and then we add uh, lemon juice just until we get to that sort of texture. So this is our first marination. You'll see this a lot in Indian cuisine. People will give you different reasons as to why, why a first marinade is good. For us, it's flavor. I think it just gives the meat a head start in the tenderization and, and flavoring process as well. Anyway, 4,000 years of uh, meat marination in India, I'm not gonna start arguing with it now. So with the chicken marinated, the next step is gonna be to make our yogurt marinade. So that's our second, second ma marination. Our hang yogurt is gonna go in there. We then have our spice mix. Uh, so this contains around 16 different spices. It's got lots of fragrant spices like kasuri methi, which is fenugreek, and rose petal as well. So I'm going to add a bit of that. Some mustard oil that we've heated up and then let, let smoke and then left to cool back down again. Uh, apparently the best way to do it is to heat it up and then bury it in the ground for a year and then use it. But we don't have that sort of time. We've only been open seven months. And I'm going to take a big pinch of salt in there as well. I'm just going to bring this together. If it's too thick, you can always add a splash of the yogurt whey back in. I am just going to work the marinade in. And honestly, the best tool we could possibly ask for in this situation is our own hands. There's no other way to do it than this. There needs to be a little bit of physicality to get it nicely marinated. So I'm going to run this skewer through the shoulder of the chicken all the way through to come out the thinner part of the other side reapply some of that marinade just to make sure we're not missing out on anything. The flavor of the charcoal is really, really important in, in a dish like this. So I think if you're going to invest the time in making it, you know, it's worth getting the barbie on as well. So this is a little Japanese fan that we got from, you know, a Chinese shop in Bayswater. I think it was 40 to 60p. And honestly, forget the fact that you've got, you know, thousands of pounds worth of kit in there. Using this to fan the coals, it's the best thing that you can do for your barbecue. This, this floppy end, it's, it's, it's where all the... I want to get a sponsorship deal and just get like a BB one. So I think there's a fine line between well charred and uh, burnt. So I'd say that's probably a good point where you're getting, you know, those sort of blackened bits. So our chicken's cooked and now resting. Um, and we've just taken that sauce and you can see how much we've reduced it down. So it's a bit thicker than the consistency of double cream at this point. But that is also, because of the magic addition, 
of uh, dry roasted cashew nut. So these are broken cashews, just dry roast them, salt them very, 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 very slightly, and then use that almost as a natural thickening, thickening agent for the sauce. Uh, also adds a little bit of sweetness, which is, you know, with a lot of spice and bits and pieces going on, it's a, it's a, it's a welcome break as well. And I'm just gonna add just some nicely brunoise ginger and coriander stem. So not the leaf, the leaf we use for chutneys, uh, we use the leaf where we need the color. But the stem's actually where sort of 80% of the flavor is, so it's, uh, and also gives a nice bite in the finished dish as well. Now slice our chicken. One of the questions we get asked most often is, how is our chicken so soft and so tender? One is the, the yogurt marinade, but also just cooking it to the right point. So we're just gonna place the chicken on the dish. We've got our chicken, we're just gonna take our sauce, drape that over. It's not a curry, it's not about browning it in sauce, it's just about making sure that you get what we'd call the right amount. I don't know what that means in measurements, but the right amount. So this is a salted butter that's aged in its own way. Um, it's very sour, but also very salty. I say that the Indians rival the French for their love of butter. Um, so you're probably looking at, in a dish, somewhere around 50 grams of butter. And then we're just dusting over this Charmaji's masala. And then here we have it. Charmaji's Lahori chicken with cashew and yogurt whey.